Good morning, P3. Now we are on our sixth day of home learning in English. And last time, we studied about talking about plants. And we've learned two rules. First rule is to use the proper pronoun or the exact name noun, then followed by a correct beaver, which is is, am, are. And it must be followed with rule, num with rule number two, which is verb in ing form. For example, she is going for a swim. She is, he is tidying his room. So this rule must be followed when you are talking about plants. I hope everything on this topic is clear for you because it's another study time for a new lesson. And for today, we will be having science in integration with our English class because we're going to talk about mammals. I'm pretty sure that this one has been mentioned to you during your science class. But let's have a short introduction about mammals. What are mammals? So these are the characteristics of mammals. By the way, humans are considered mammals as well. Mammals have fur or hair. So like humans, we do have hair. Now, cats, dogs, tigers, fats, they're fox, they are examples of mammals because they have hair or fur. Another is all mammals are warm-blooded. What do we mean by warm-blooded? Their body temperature stays the same when it's cold or hot outside. It means it doesn't take whatever the temperature is outside. Is It sticks to your own body temperature. For example, your body temperature is 37. So when the weather is hot, your temperature is still 37. When the weather becomes cold or snowy, let's say winter, your body temperature still remains 37. It doesn't increase nor decrease. The, it doesn't follow what the temperature is outside. So it adjusts to their own body temperature. Next, all mammals are born live, not hatched from egg. So it means birds, dogs, turtles, they are not mammals because they all come from an egg. As for mammals, we are born with... um. Alive, for example, for humans, we give birth and come out as a baby, not not an egg with a baby inside. No, so immediately it will look as like what kind we are. So like human, for cats it comes out as kitten, dogs it comes out as puppies. So it doesn't come out from an egg. So that is what a mammal is. Now, there is another fact about mammal that I want you to know, which is on your activity book on page 97. Again, open your activity book on page 97 and you're going to see this. We're on number 3. Read and look at the chart, then answer the questions. So, let's read all together. Follow Miss Dennis, okay? You have to read this part. All mammals have hearts that pump blood around their bodies. Like what we've mentioned, without the heart pumping the blood, your body will not function well. But some mammals' hearts beat slowly and others beat quickly. In general, larger mammals have hearts that beat more slowly. So using this chart right here, you will know how many heartbeats in a minute do each kind of mammal has. Let's start with the smaller one. Bat has 70, 750 heartbeats. Imagine how fast it is. In one minute, it makes 750 heartbeats. Mouse has 650. Rabbits have 200. A man, or like us, we have 72 heartbeats in a minute. Elephants, only 25. While the whale has the slowest, which is 6. So, let's compare these um, mammals using their heartbeats in a minute, and complete the sentences below. Number one, which heart beats more quickly, a mouse heart or an elephant's heart? Okay, the answer is already given. A mouse's heart beats more quickly. Since we're talking about the quickness of the heartbeat, we're going to use here quickly. Number two, a heart beats more quickly. I mean, which heart beats more quickly, a rabbit's heart or a bat's heart. It's the bat's heart. 
it, the bat's heart beats more quickly since the bat has 750 while the rabbit has only 200. Number three, which heart beats more slowly? This time slowly, whale's heart or a man's heart? So the answer is, of course, the whale's heart beats more slowly. It only has six, while humans have 72. So I want you to focus your attention on the following words. Which word did I circle? It's the word more. You will use more when you compare two things with the same traits. Example, you will use more plus the adverb that ends in ly, like quickly, slowly. What do we mean by adverb, by the way? Adverbs describe verbs and adjectives. To form regular adverbs, you simply have to add ly. For example, quick, quickly. You just add ly to the word quick. For example, bad, badly, brave, bravely, careful, carefully. You simply add L-Y. Now, there's another rule. If the word ends with Y, you have to change this into I and add I and add L-Y. Same rule with um, comparatives, right? If the word ends with Y, you have to change it into I, and this time you have to add L-Y. Example, angry, it has Y, so you have to change it into I and add L-Y. Another, easy, easily, happy, happily. So that's how you're going to change the adverb, the adjective into an adverb. And then simply add more before the adverb. So more plus adverb. For example, quick will become more quickly, slow will become more slowly. And loud will become more loudly. It's very easy, right? So you're going to use it when you're comparing two things with the same trait. For example, I'm two animals with both of them are quick, but you want to know who's quicker. So you're going to use more quickly. So for your um, homework, I want you to do your activity book page 97 over to you. And don't forget to send your homework to Google Classroom to be graded and checked. Okay, so I hope the lesson for today about the use of more plus adverb in ending in ly is very clear for you. Feel free to send me a message in Google Classroom if, every, if something is confusing and I'll gladly answer them. So that will be all, all for today, friends. Thank you and see you next time. Bye!